In the center of every big galaxy in the universe lies a monster, a supermassive black hole. Our own Milky Way has one, sitting dead center, with a mass of 4.3 million times that of the Sun. As you might imagine, the environment around it is a mess. There's gas and dust everywhere, and quite a few stars circling it. Some years ago, an anomaly was found, an elongated blip of light called G2 that looked very much like a small gas cloud orbiting the black hole. It was on a tight elliptical orbit. In mid-2014, it was projected to pass a mere 30 billion kilometers or so from the surface of the black hole, pretty close in cosmic terms, and fireworks were expected as tidal forces from the black hole's immense gravity would strip gas from the cloud and gobble it down. Many astronomers thought it wouldn't survive. But then periapsis, closest approach in astronomy lingo, came and went, and G2 appeared unfazed. It not only survived the close pass, it seems to have been largely unaffected by it. Clearly, it wasn't just some cloud of gas. What was it? New observations from the near-infrared part of the spectrum may finally have revealed the identity of the object. First, inside the gas cloud is a smaller cloud of dust, a knot of complex carbon molecules commonly produced when stars are born or when they die. But even that's odd. What could make the dust? It appears that the answer may be another weird object, a star that was once two stars orbiting each other, but which merged some time ago. Such mergers are rare, but do happen. For example, the bizarre star V838 Manasarotis is the product of a binary merger. When this occurs, a lot of dust can be expelled, which would explain the dust inside G2. It turns out that repeated close passes to a black hole can poke a binary system hard enough to make the stars merge. While it's not completely conclusive, this new study would explain a lot of the properties of a really peculiar object. I find this possibility enthralling. What's not to love? A huge black hole, a dangerously close encounter, and the really weird object that lived through it. And the lesson here, of course, is that if you want to survive getting close to a black hole, bring a friend, and be prepared for them to become a very close friend.